before we begin this video, please subscribe right now and click the notification bell to get news on Asan Tech Protocol. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, in order to do, subscribe right now and click the notification bell. Today we'll be talking about the issue going on with Asan Tech Protocol, the GFA, the start times and the VO equipment that was supposed to record our games in the Ghana Premier League this season. Now, let's talk. Let's go back to our last game against 11 Wonders. I was there at the stadium, I was at the press stand, I saw there was a little confusion down on the pitch, but I didn't know what it was, so I went on Twitter and saw that the GFA and the Star Times officials are stopping Asante Kotoko from taking a video of the game. I still don't understand why, because it doesn't even make sense. Why would you stop a club from recording its own game? where in the world does it happen it doesn't happen anywhere that was why i thought it was an outrageous um, um attempt or a, a, outrageous event that happened that night because i couldn't believe it so i thought the issue would be resolved um amicably then i found out that asante kotoko had to pay a 350 um 3500 ghana cities to fuel the generator for the stadium because the amount has been fixed by six which is also an outrageous um thing to do because Kotoko are not supposed to pay 3,500 uh, 3, Ghana cities for fuel to, to power the generator for the game. It doesn't make sense. What is the work of the GFA? They didn't even ask the, G the GFA or the start times or start times to put their game at 6 p.m. So why are you charging the club for fuel to power the to power the stadium? It doesn't make sense. Now, the, the GFA might have collected money um, that restricts the club from recording their game and i think if they have done that they have to actually go back and return and allow clubs to record the game because that is how they can improve themselves that is how they can analyze games and if there's an incident they don't like in a particular game this that is how they can pick um, instances the the, the 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 events that occurred you can say the line man was biased uh, this is the incident you submit the video your own video not the GF the start times video your own video to the GFA to to um, support your claim so that is why I feel that if you don't allow them if you don't allow them to video the game it doesn't make sense because it will set them backwards this is backward thinking no club in the entire world will allow this kind of thing to happen that is why i support kotoko's claim like they are standing up for it that's why i support it now this morning i found out that kotoko have met with the the board members and this is what they come up with now kotoko wants gfa to supply the star times contract then they are asking the gfa to change the match time from 6 p.m Kotoko didn't ask that the game should be at 6 p.m. That game, I attended that game, I came home uh, um, around uh, 11, 11.30, close to 12 a.m. Because I stay far away from the Accra Sports Stadium. So I came back home very late, so Kotoko are telling them to change the time from 6 p.m. to a very um, early stay, early, um, early time, so that they, they, they won't be paying the 3,500 Ghana cities for the fuel now if they want kotoko to continue playing at 6 pm it means that the gfa or the start times will be responsible for the 3500 ghana cities for the fuel the kotoko don't want any part of that then they also feel that it is outrageous that the gfa are trying to um, stop clubs from recording the game because it doesn't make sense and this is how coaches improve the team this is how technical team improve the team this is how it is done in other countries in other clubs and the gfa stance on this particular situation is something i don't understand it doesn't make sense see the v the veo um equipment was there against 11 wonders and it wasn't allowed to take any video why it doesn't make sense People are saying, oh, Kotoko are feeling as if they are they are the only club that this affects. Really? If other clubs don't want to speak for themselves, Kotoko are speaking for themselves and on behalf of the club. Because if you don't want to speak, I'll speak for you because this, is, this isn't the right thing to do. It doesn't even make sense. So that is why I support what Kotoko is doing right now. And I feel that what the GFA did was, or what the GFA did or was doing is unfair. And I don't like it at all. How will you ask a club to pay 3,500 Ghana cities to fuel the generator that will run the entire stadium for a match? 3,500 every time you have match. Why they didn't ask you to fix the game in the night? Why are you asking them to bring money for the fuel? It doesn't make sense. 
so that is why i think that these steps Kotoko are taking right now is the correct thing and it's the right thing to do and that is how i see it i would like to know your thoughts put down in the comment section this is a very serious case that is why i want you guys to take your time to comment down in the comment section and tell me what you think about the situation and if you think Kotoko are going on the right path because personally I think they're going on the right path and I think as the very very is a very very simple thing if you don't want us to play if you want us to play by 6 p.m. you pay the money if you won't pay the money then remove our game from 6 p.m. and if you don't want us to um, um, if you don't want us to video our own game then don't cover our game at all that is what Kotoko wants and I think they are doing the, they are completely doing the right thing I would like to know your thoughts put them in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to that right now my name is Clinton Little till next time guys peace out